Hey everyone, Dr. Travis Whitney here with Innate Healthcare Institute, and today we're going to talk about the difference between exosome and stem cell therapy. Hey everyone, so a very common question I get in my clinic is, what's the big difference between an exosome therapy and a stem cell therapy? They're both really, really common in the regenerative medicine space, and depending on who you ask, you'll get a lot of different opinions on one being better than the other. So I just wanted to break down and clear up some common myths and uh, misconceptions regarding them. So a uh, exosome, uh, therapy is a therapy that's derived deriving exosomes from a stem cell um, so the big difference is one is cell free which is exosome therapy those are a cell free therapy because they're capturing exosomes from a certain type of cell um, exosomes are a very very common way that our cells communicate with other cells in our body this happens in all kinds of tissues within our body they're not exclusive to stem cells um, these are exosomes are little packaged vesicles that carry uh, genetic information mitochondrial information so basically it's just a way for a cell to communicate and tell another cell what it wants it to do um, a fun fact is that when exosomes were first discovered they were actually thought that they were just cell waste they didn't think they were important they just thought it was the cell getting rid of some sort of waste that it didn't need well it turns out that these are super important um, as, you, as you know, exosome therapy is a huge therapy now um, in its own right. So what they do is they capture these exosomes from a stem cell. So you have to grow a stem cell and then you have to get them to release the exosome somehow. And there's multiple ways you can do that. Then you capture these exosomes and you use these for a therapeutic purpose. Uh, rather, it's putting in a scalp to regrow hair you can administer them in a knee joint to help regrow uh, cartilage and connective tissue and uh, get rid of somebody's pain from their arthritic joint uh, lots of different um, uses that you can you can do this and the same uh, is said for stem cell therapy you can do all the same treatments for cell therapy almost for a one-to-one -one. some things you you don't want to do with exosomes and that you can do with stem cells and vice versa uh, but for the most part they're very interchangeable on the other hand with stem cell therapy is it's not cell free you're actually capturing getting these cells and using them for a very specific uh, therapeutic purpose uh, autoimmune disease autism joint pain um, so lots of different ways that you can apply these so they both do have a lot of the same purposes it's just the big difference is you're getting these exosomes from a cell and you're using them versus the cell where you're using the cell themselves. I'm a little bit more of a fan of using the cells themselves. Um, and you can certainly do both. You can use exosome therapy and you can use uh, cell therapy at the same time. The big difference with, for me personally, with the cell therapy, with using stem cells, is that the stem cells are kind of like the conductor of this orchestra. They get to decide what exosomes are gonna be made. They get to decide, decide what they're gonna put in these little exosome packages when they're being secreted out. Uh, so I hope that really helps. If you have any other questions, uh, please leave a question down below and we'll get to make some more fun videos like this explaining everything revolving stem cells or health and wellness in general. So until the next video, 